Hey there. In this video, I am going to go over how to quickly toggle lights on and off. And we'll, we'll do how to open up this skylight up here. Now, we are eventually going to put all of this type of interactivity into Actor Blueprints. But this is just a getting started video, so it's an intro interactive. So quickly, how do we toggle lights? Well, you want to select one and then we're going to create a reference to it. So right click, create a reference to that spotlight. We'll get the other one. We'll do both at the same time. So right click, create a reference to it. And then we're going to manipulate them by hitting the one key. So keyboard and one. And we're going to drag off here and type toggle. So toggle visibility. And we can drag the second spotlight into the target as well. That will allow us to basically toggle them on and off. So I just used the alignment tools to redistribute so we could see those better. You can hit F7 or hit compile, hit play, and I'm going to look around and hit the one key. Hey, it works. All right, awesome. Now let's talk about moving this and opening up the skylight. How do we want to do this? We've got the skylight here and we just want to move it like about, let's see, one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about a hundred units. All right. So, and we wanted about a hundred units in the negative Y axis because it's green and the number's going down. So how can we go about doing that? Well, we are definitely going to need a reference to this and we need to make sure this is set to movable. And we're going to set it to the, the two key. That's how we can start. So keyboard and two. And then we can get a reference to it. So right click, create a reference to the box. And the first thing that we want to do even before we start manipulating it is we're going to want to get the value of the location. And we can basically go here and say get actor location. And then we can set it into a variable. So we'll just say skylight location. Great. And we're going to set it to a vector because we're going to get all three pieces of information. And so if we hold on the Alt key and drag, it'll create a setter. And so we will plug this in here and plug this in here. So when the game starts, it will take the information from the box and plug it into this variable. All right, great. So now we are going to use a timeline and we can do this in a couple different ways, but this is going to be the like opener timeline. And what we can do to keep this simple, if we keep everything at vectors, then it will just make it easier. We won't have to split very, we won't have to split the vectors out. So we're going to create a vector and we'll call this. Okay. Now we are going to manipulate the Y ax the Y axis. So we can pretty much lock off the X and the Z, which is really nice. We have these interactive things here and we'll do it over one second. So we can trim the length of this composition to one second. So we can start off here at zero or about zero. And then at one second, we can say that it's completed. So it's 100% finished. We can zoom the extents here. Now, if we wanted to ease in and ease out, so we can use this auto function, which also is the hotkey one. All right, so now it goes between zero and 100%. And we could also do a flip-flop here. So when we hit the two key, at first it'll play, and then if we hit the two key again, it will reverse. So that's nice. Now, how do we get the box value and modify the location of it? Well, we can set the location and that's fine. But we want to take the 
percentage and we want to multiply it times the the entire value, which was about 100, right? It was moving about 100 units, we could even say 90. So we could create a variable and we could actually even keep this as a vector if we want to just keep everything in vectors. So um, move amount. And if we hit F7 or click up here, we can set the move amount value. And I, I, since Unreal now has dynamic um, switching, we can we actually can set this to an integer. So we'll have to recompile and we'll set this to 90. We're going to get this value and we're going to multiply it times the percentage here. So this is the percentage and then we're going to add it to uh, the skylight location, which we set up here. So now I did a demo earlier where I thought I could save time by just getting the value of the actor and just adding it to the location of the actor, but that creates a recursive increase. increase. So every time you tick through, you're going to be constantly increasing the value, which would cause problems. This should work. Let's give it a try. The other thing is if you want the values, so to diagnose your work, sometimes you want to print out the values and you can do a print statement. There's other ways, but this way we will get the values out of what the final values are. So let's hit compile and hit play and we can look up and then we can hit the two key and it slides open and you can see the values and we hit the two key and it closes. All right, we've got a skylight working. Now, if we wanted to turn the, you know, the lights on and off, we could go through and we could basically just take this information and basically put it before here. So if we wanted to have the lights, because the lights are a toggle by themselves, so we don't need to flip flop. So we could just basically drop this in and you might want to comment this pieces of code. So you could select these, hit C, lights. And here we could say skylight, open, open, close. All right. And you could even color code these too, if you want. Change this to red. All right, let's try it. So we hit play, so we hit the two. So the skylight is open, the lights turn off, we hit two again, then the lights turn back on. Awesome, all right, well, thanks so much for your attention and hopefully this helps those who are having trouble with this.